Hi everyone, it's lovely to see you. I'm Lorna and today we are going to read a story. Today we are reading Harry and the Dinosaurs Make a Christmas Wish by Ian Wybrow and Adrian Reynolds. It was always fun to visit Mr Oakley's farm. One time he had some ducklings keeping warm in a box by the stove. Harry took the bucket full of dinosaurs to see. Mr Oakley showed them one little duckling just coming out of its shell. Harry even held the duckling in his hands. Rah! Ask him, Harry, said the dinosaurs. Ask Mr Oakley for a duckling to keep. Mr Oakley said better not. They only had room for chickens over at Harry's house. Mr Oakley let Harry and the dinosaurs ride home in his trailer, but they were still upset. Shame, said Triceratops. Raw, said Tyrannosaurus. We want a duckling. Oh, I wish we could have one, said Harry. It was a big wish, but it didn't work. Maybe it was the wrong time for wishing. At last, one cold day in the winter, the right time came. Nan said, Harry, will you and the dinosaurs help me stir up the Christmas pudding mixture? They all had a good stir and a lick, and then they closed their eyes and they made a special wish. A Christmas wish. Harry wrote down his wish in a letter to Santa. What did you wish for? asked Mum. A duckling, said Harry and the dinosaurs. Well, let's look in the shops before you send that letter, said Mum, just in case you change your mind. Good idea, said Nan. I want to spend my savings out of my egg money box. They all went on the bus to see the lights and the Christmas displays in the big stores. Harry found just the right book about dinosaurs in the bookshop. And there was plenty Harry liked in the toy shop. So he thought of lots more things to put in his letter. But don't forget to say about our duckling, Harry, whispered the dinosaurs. On Christmas Eve, Nan helped Harry to hang up his stocking. Dinosaurs don't like presents in stockings, said Harry. They want their present in an egg. I see, said Nan. Then we'll leave out my money box, shall we? Sam said it was stupid putting out an egg. Eggs were for Easter, not for Christmas. That was why Harry and the dinosaurs made rang noises all through her favourite programme. Nan took Harry to his room to settle down. I've been bad to Sam, haven't I, sighed Harry. Now I won't get my Christmas wishes. Nan said not to get upset. Christmas wishes were special, and if you were really sorry, Santa would understand. When Harry opened his eyes, it was Christmas morning. Wake up, my Apatosaurus, my Ankyosaurus and my Triceratops, called Harry. And he called, wake up, to his Stegosaurus and his Scalidosaurus and his Tyrannosaurus and all the sleepy old dinosaurs. They jumped up and rushed downstairs to see what Santa had left for them. Harry unwrapped all his presents. Just what I wanted, he shouted every time. What a shame, sighed the dinosaurs. Santa didn't bring us a duckling. Wait, said Harry, you haven't opened your egg yet. So all the dinosaurs closed their eyes, gave the egg a warm up and made a Christmas wish. And guess what popped out? 
a baby pterodactyl. Raw, much better than a duckling, said Scylodosaurus. Raw, it's a flying dinosaur, said Tyrannosaurus. Raw to you too, said Pterodactyl. Happy Christmas, Harry. The end. See you next time.